mean, we're... There you go. There it is, the shot. There you go. I was going to say, well, oh, this feels good, Mono. Mono, this feels good, buddy. Just small. I was just going to say, we're marking bigger fish here. You've been what? Waiting 24 hours for this. For your coffee? For my coffee. <laughs> Guys, Johnny and I just made it into Windsor. Mono, what are we fishing for? This is our favorite trip of the year. Start the season off right. It's the 2024 spring walleye run here on the Detroit River. Now, you probably heard Johnny say he's been waiting for this for 24 hours. He wasn't talking about the fishing. Johnny's coming off the stomach bug. Food poisoning, Mono? Food poisoning. And we weren't exactly sure if we were going to make it out on the water today. Uh, <laughs> but he looks ready to go. Let's go. So today, we're going to be running drifts on the Detroit River. We're going to show you guys exactly what we're using. Hopefully, Mono, we could find some bigger females. We have been getting some reports with a lot of males. Uh, but we'll see if we can find some of those super tankers. You ready, buddy? Let's do it, man. We're heading to the launch. Let's go. Buddy, first drift. First drift of the morning. We're gonna see if we can uh, if we can get some big girls here. And a little bit shallower. Right now, guys, we are <coughs> we are trying to find some bigger females. Right off the hop in the morning. I missed one bite. My jig hand's a little rusty, buddy. Come on, big girl, let's go. There's a big fish. A lot of rocks here, Mono. Don't let it hang on bottom too long, because because that's gonna happen. Oh, there goes a rig. Okay, guys, so this is the leader that we're gonna be running today, 12 pound cigar. And I'm gonna put about five, six feet. Five, six feet, I'm not gonna be using an inline swivel. I will be tying direct. And the knot that is a go-to, especially when your hands start to get a little bit chillier, is the modified Albright. Very, very easy knot to tie. In my experience it's not as complicated as the uh, FG knot which in high winds cold hands that's a difficult one so Fish of the day. First fish of the day. You took that deep, bro. Crunch today. Eh? Yeah. All right, they're aggressive. Beautiful. That is that uh, eater class male. We're not keeping any. He's going back. All right, so we're gonna start the second drift of the day. I missed a couple. Johnny landed one. He hit it on orange. I've made the switch. We're gonna see if we can if we can really attack these fish and get some numbers. High pops, low pops, Mono, what's, what did you get it on? Low pop. Low pop, that's what I got hit a few times on myself, but always good 
to cross-reference with your fishing partners. I mean, we're... There you go. There we go. There you go. I was going to say, oh, this feels good, Mono. Mono, this feels good, buddy. Just smoke. I was just going to say, we're marking bigger fish here. Oh, dude, he got off. He got off, Mano. Just crunched it, guys, on the orange. Hey, Mano. Drag was a little bit loose, but I, as I was... Oh, just missed another one. As I was saying, we're marking a ton of big... We're marking, we're marking a ton of big... A ton of big fish. Oh, Mano, I just dropped the super tank. That hurts, Mano. Right off the hop. <laughs> Solid fish, buddy. It's okay. We'll get more. We'll get more. Oh, yeah. Hey, Mano, you know when you set the hook and it doesn't move them? Yeah. That was a good fish. Yeah. There's a fish right away. There we go. This one doesn't feel anywhere near as big. This is a much smaller fish, but as soon as I dropped it down again, there it was. Typical male. Unfortunately, uh, dropped that big girl right before this guy, but I'm gonna pop the hook. Man, these Gamagatsu stingers, Mono, they are sharp. I mean, I can still see the prop off the back, so. Not bad, how are you doing? Don't worry, we missed a few, you're gonna get some. They're here. Yeah, I dropped a really big one just up there, landed a smaller one. They're here. There we go, fish on. He's on. Oh, this feels this is no stinger fish. Okay. There's Bail. Johnny with another male. And boat side release. Boat side release. There you go. Mono, this drift has been very productive. Short little drift, maybe 150 feet, 200 feet at most. Three fish dropped a big Oh, I just missed one. Three fish dropped the big one. There we go. There's another fish. Another one? Yeah. Come on, Mano. Save some for me, buddy. You know, I'm getting these on the stinger gallon. Decent fish, another male? Oh, uh, a little aggressive male. That's okay. I'm marking both side release. Both side release? Love it. Shaking these little males off. Yeah. Uh, four fish, Mono. One drift. Not bad. Buddy. Destroy the uh, Well, this is what I'm running. It's mostly yellow. Hey Mono. The, the nuclear chicken? Yeah. Yellow, orange. We call it we call it the nuclear chicken. What a banger that would have been right off the hop. Second drift in. Fish. All right. This one. Probably another typical male the color of them is just so light beautiful Detroit River male what did you do? I don't know 
there's one. They're so feisty, man. There's an old man. This male is making a mess. Nice male. Look at the size of this one, Mono. Milking all over the place. Let's get him back in there. Bye bye, buddy. There's a fish. Oh, right away. As soon as I drop down, Mono. Another male. Oof. Stinger hook, very light. Look at the color of this fish, though. Very light colored. Typical Detroit River, Detroit River run male walleye. All right, Johnny, you're calling a big female? Big female, just second uh, second spot of the day, spot that's always held fish for us. I got a good feeling. Let's do it. All right, Johnny's calling big fish. I'm dropping down. First drift at the second spot. Got about a foot of this. A foot? Inches, yeah. How many? Maybe a foot to 18 inches. 12 to 18 inches of visibility? guys are working on the bridge the key guys is to again stay vertical there's a fish oh it's a pike mono yeah, no. yes i was wondering that feels totally different um i don't know i'll just bring them in the boat detroit river pike what yeah, I think that's mono that's a first for me yeah. Yes. Oh, he got both side release. <laughs> both side release. The viewers would have liked to see that. But they're here, Mono. Like Andy's caught a few big ones. Oh, there's one. There's one. Just as I was saying that, but it feels like a, like a male. This one just absolutely crushed the nuclear chicken. But yeah, there's big fish here. Just gotta locate them. Huh? That is a good fish. Yeah? Yeah. All right, Johnny's on a good one. Keep the pressure on him, buddy. Yes. Good job, Mano. You knew right. That's a huge male, I think, eh? Is that is that old or is that new? Holy moly! Super tanker, Mano. You know how we call Andy Big Fish Andy? We're gonna call you Super Tanker Johnny. That is a monster male. Yeah, big, big male. Right there. I knew as soon as I set the hook on that guy, that is a big male. I wanna share with you the rod that I've been using to get onto these walleyes. As you know, one of my favorite rods for jigging walleye is the St. Croix Legend Tournament. This is a six foot eight, medium, extra fast. Mono, when it comes to walleye fishing, I think the, the rod, especially jigging, the rod is a lot more important than a reel. In my opinion, I would prefer to have a more sensitive rod than one of these super high-end reels. However, 
the the size of the reel that I was using today is a 2500 mono. What do you think? I, if you were to choose to spend a little bit more, would you go, especially for walleye jigging, would you go for a reel or a rod expenditure wise? 100% the rod is what makes the difference. Uh, what we found in our experience is that extra fast tip really makes a difference when bouncing bottom as far as sensitivity goes. I was using a uh, tactical fishing jigging special today. Love that rod, budget friendly, coming in at under $200. You can't go wrong. And uh, yeah, the, the reel, I mean, these walleye are not going to take you on too many runs. So I don't think that the reel comes into play that much when you're jigging out here. So we're of the same thought process. Guys, if you're gonna be coming out to the Detroit River, <coughs> Uh, make sure that you come well equipped. Sometimes you're gonna get winds that cause the waters to get a lot more stained. You wanna have a wide variety of colors in regards to the plastics that you're running, whether you're gonna have to run some brighter colors, darker colors, in cleaner waters. Once you get visibility over 24 inches, the, the naturals is always a safe bet in regards to color, the color of your presentation. So with that being said, Thank you for watching another episode of Blue Collar Angling, and we'll see you on the next adventure. Ready to go, Mono? Let's head out.